One of the things that I love the most in life is animals, working with animals and rescuing animals. I wish I could rescue many, many more animals. I had Papa. He was my first rescue, my first dog on my own and my first rescue. And Papa was blind and deaf. I kept looking at Muttville, the registry of the senior dogs. I felt like if I was going to rescue any dogs, I would rescue the most vulnerable, the ones that people tend to not go for because of two reasons. One, they most likely don't want to get an older dog because they can't handle the emotional upset that comes with a senior dog if they don't stay with them long. Um, and the other thing is everybody wants a puppy. You know, they, they just want to see the cuteness of a little puppy. And so I felt senior dogs were the most in need because they have the smaller population of people who are willing to rescue them. And I always ended up going for the ones that were the hardest to place. Papa was blind and deaf and he was 10. As far as they could tell, I think he was older than that. And we only had him for eight months, but he had the greatest life and we gave him a bucket list. And I always would say that I was his seeing eye person. And I learned how to teach him braille on the leash, a sort of leash braille, where he would know when I was going to turn left or right or to go straight. I did sign language on his forehead that told him when it was raining outside. You could see his reaction because he understood. I told him, you know, with sign language on his forehead when we were going to go to Michael's, which was his favorite store. We went every week and he got tons of love there. You know, so that experience with Papa and adopting him you know, I saved him, but he saved me because it was during a time when my husband was in school and I was home alone a lot. After work, I was just alone. And Papa filled that need and it gave me something to focus on to make his life better. And through his life being better, my life was made better. The other really crucial thing that having Papa uh, did for me is it restored a, a hope in humanity because when I took him out and I would take him out in a wagon, a radio flyer cloth wagon, and I had a bandana on his neck that said, be kind to me, I'm blind and deaf. And I would take him into Michael's or wherever I could take him in his little wagon. People would see him and they would read his scarf and then I could see this wonderful thing that would happen is people would would have compassion and you would hear them go oh and they would walk over and they would be looking at him but saying you know can I pet him he's blind you know they would ask questions about Papa and then Papa was so friendly that even though he couldn't see or hear he was in essence a Helen Keller and I had learned to make his, his world alive and give it color despite the fact that he couldn't see and he couldn't hear. Um, having him around people was very important and he was so receptive to receiving love and pets and cuddles. And so anywhere I could take him where he would get that, I would tell his story and people would give him love. But it restored my faith in, in the compassion that people have because in this world you often don't see that compassion. What you hear most are the people that are abusing animals and you hear the news and the talk of war and political parties and fighting and just angst all the time in this world. And it's a struggle to be in the world but not let the world be in you. And I struggle with that and I think it's a good thing to struggle with be on guard at all times to not let the world be inside you. Otherwise, you're doomed. So 
animals have really provided that for me. You know, now I have Celia and Sakara who are my senior sisters and they're 12. And again, they've given me so much. I'll tell more of their story in another vlog, but I just wanted to share how I feel that animals are really the nectar of life and they are very healing. And I hope that all people who are rescuing would consider seniors because they need it the most. Hi guys, thank you for listening to my uh, and watching my video. And I do hope that if you decide to rescue that you give seniors a chance. If you live in California, in San Francisco, I highly recommend to go to muttville.com, M-U-T-T-V-I-L-L-E.com. Also call or just show up. And they have many seniors and they specialize in them and they are the most amazing senior rescue that I know. They spend an average of $1,500 on each dog that comes in there to make them well and they will pay for services after they leave. Um, and so look into that. The numbers that I gave may change, but last uh, adoption, that was uh, the information. Um, if you are not in California in the San Francisco Bay Area, then um, literally go to any shelter, see if they have senior rescues, if they don't go to any shelter, and ask to see the seniors or the animals that have been there the longest. Um, I know the animals will thank you and I just feel like it's the most amazing work that you know you can you can do it's one of the most important things that you can do and you will feel good about it so um, and they give you as much as you give them so anyway thank you for listening and I hope that you rescue senior bye You give me my picture. You give me my picture. Ooh. <laughs>